after hot wax commerce is connected to the retailer shopify it sets up a product store which can be understood as a synonym for a company there are multiple configurations which are done on the product store for the efficient usage of hot wax commerce as an order management system let us begin by going to the uh, stores page here you click here and this is our product store settings page you will see multiple details on this page including the name of the store and uh, multiple facilities set up under the product store these facilities are associated with the product store it ensures that any order which is imported is fulfilled from the associated facilities of the product now let us begin by seeing the basic settings that are given on ui we click on edit and here are multiple settings in this video i'll cover every uh, configuration and explain the meaning thereby let us begin by store name it is the name of the company or name of the brand second is inventory facility if the retailer wants order routing through hot wax this configuration is set to brokering queue which ensures that the orders when imported are put in a queue and then routed through a batch process the next setting is reserve inventory when order is routed the system reserves inventory against the order which is also called as uh, re inventory reservations or allocations when hot wax reads inventory from shopify this function should be disabled so that the hot wax commerce does not allocate inventory or reserve inventory against any order setting is enable brokering this setting might be used if the user wants to hold off on the brokering for a temporary period this type of case generally appears when there is any inventory issue and the retailer does not want to broker orders because inventory will not be correctly allocated to the orders the next setting is pre order auto releasing this setting is uh, for the retailers who wants to automatically release their pre orders or back orders from the system when the promise date arrives and inventory is received in the system the next setting is currency you put in the currency of the country that you are operating your business in the next setting is sales order id prefix the retailers can add a suffix or a prefix to the sales order from here the next is external id this is an id this is an optional field this is an id from an external system if the retailer uses a third party application or a system uh, he can decide to put an id here the next is auto cancel days retailers can decide to set auto cancellation days for the orders when they are not fulfilled in a particular amount of time this auto cancellation date is always set on the unfillable orders unfillable orders are the orders on which attempt uh, brokering has been attempted once but they cannot find any store or any facility for fulfillment and therefore it has been marked unfillable auto cancellation date is set on such orders so that if the order remains unfillable for a particular amount of time it gets cancelled the next is explored order items when an order item in an order has multiple quantities the retailer might decide to explode those order quantity into different line items this helps the retailer to fulfill multiple quantity order items from different facilities the next setting is allow split hot wax commerce gives the option to the retailer to choose if they want to split order items into different ship groups and fulfill order as and when the order items become available the next setting is auto approve order this setting decides whether when an order is imported in the system will it automatically be approved or not orders are approved when the payment is approved in shopify and the order can be processed further for fulfillment orders are only brokered in hot wax commerce after they are approved some retailers might not want auto approval of orders if they take deposit payments and they want to control the order approval manually the next is the product identifier many retailers differentiates their product or identifies their product through different identifications that might be shopify product id shopify sku or upc barcode 
Here you will see the list of identifications. The retailer can decide and choose any identification and the hot wax commerce will also identify the product catalog with this identification. You edit all these settings and click on save. All these settings are now saved. This way a retailer can use hot wax commerce store settings page to configure many uh, settings and use this system efficiently. For more information on Hot Wax Commerce, visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum at forum.hotwax.io.